In this video, I'm gonna show you how to configure multiple external global protect gateways and also go over the parameters that Palo Alto takes into consideration when selecting the best gateway. Let's go! In order to configure multiple gateways for your global protect setup, you need to go to your portal under network, global protect, portal. Click on your portal, select agent, click on your agent, and there you select external. By the way, guys, this is a more advanced Global Protect configuration video. If you need some help configuring your Global Protect from scratch, check out this video right here. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. Whenever you add new external gateways in your portal configuration, you have the option to choose the priority and the region where the clients are allowed to connect from. In my lab, I configured four gateways on the same file. And the idea here is to simulate five different files one running the portal and the other four running the gateways GW1 to GW4. I gave each gateway a different priority going from low for the GW1 to highest for the GW4. When the Global Protect app connects to the portal, it downloads the profile and tries to select a gateway automatically using the following methods. So the first method would be source region. The gateway that doesn't allow the region where the client is located in the source region list gets eliminated. In my case, I select all regions for all gateways, as you can see here. So all these four gateways will be considered. The next method would be manual only. The Global Protect app also ignores in this automatic selection all the gateways that are configured with the priority manual only. And then the method weight is calculated based on the priority among other parameters. After that, the Global Protect app measures for each gateway the time it takes for it to complete the SSL handshake. In the Palo Alto documentation, this is referred to as the response time. After completing these handshakes with all the gateways, the client calculates a weight value for each of the gateways it connects, connected to based on the priorities and also on this response time. The gateway with the lowest weight gets then chosen from the client. So let me show you how you can see on your own client what the Global Protect app is doing. So first we're gonna to connect to the gateway. Connect. So now I was able to connect to my gateway. You can see here the best available gateway is the GW3. Now I'm gonna disconnect and take a look at the logs. To download the logs from your Global Protect app, you need to go to Settings, and then under Settings you go to Troubleshooting, and there you have a, a button called Collect Logs. So choose the folder where you want to download this file to. After downloading it, you can unzip it, and look for the file called pengps.log. This file usually has a lot of information. So, but here you can search for response time, colon, and you'll probably find the response times measured from your app. Just use the search function, it's gonna be easier. In this example here, you can see how much time my Global Protect client measured the response time from the GW1 to GW4. In this example here, you can see that the GW4 has a priority equals one, which is the value of the highest priority. And you see that the GW3 has a priority of two, which is the value of the high priority. But the GW4 has a Duration it means that the response time a lot longer than the GW3 and in the end the client, the Global Protect app ended up choosing the GW3 as its gateway. As a summary, 
If you need a Global Protect client to automatically choose a gateway, you can consider this region option if you have people connecting from, to your network from all over the world. You could also set a higher priority to a firewall that has more performance, which would probably complete the SSL handshake anyway faster. Or you could set the same priorities for different firewalls. So the least busy one would complete this handshake, the SSL handshake faster, and your client would elect this one to connect to. If you enjoyed this video and you're still not a subscriber yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It does help the channel a lot. And if you like some free stuff, like a, a VPN connection sheet or a cheat sheet from the Palo Alto, you can download those at netsums.com resources. Please don't hesitate to drop a comment below. I try to answer all the comments that you guys leave. I don't know everything regarding the Palo Alto file, but whatever I know, I want to share with you guys. I will be happy to help you if I can. And maybe this video here is gonna be able to help you further with the Palo Alto configuration. I hope you have a great day and I hope to see you also in the next video. Bye-bye.